Hi y'all, Ash here. This is part 2 of our Japan vlog. For this one, we have a couple of extra special stuff in store. However, before we get to that, this one picks up right after Team Labs. So if you haven't seen that video, the first part, go ahead and click on this link up here. To set the stage for this video though, we took a couple of trains to a very special location, which you can see right here. That's right, it's the Pokemon Center. The place that I've always wanted to go to ever since I was a kid. I've heard stories of this place, seen tons of YouTube videos, you name it. This place has always been the goal for me whenever I go to Japan. Uh, needless to say, I visited a ton of these actually. But this happened to be the first one and the one that I spent the most time in and the most money in as well. Uh, but you'll see that a little bit later. This store in specific though is called Pokemon Center DX. And they really do stack this place with everything you can imagine. They have stationery, plushies, figures, cups, you name it. Every single thing that you could want a Pokemon is actually at this store. On top of that, they have some cool statues like the Snorlax one that came out at the beginning of this video. And if you want to go to the Pokemon Cafe, it's actually in this same building as well. And although we have a Pokemon Center located online in the United States, it's not the same. This Japan physical store has unique items that you can only get here. On top of that, every single Pokemon Center actually has a unique Pikachu that you can get as well if you're lucky. It already kind of passed by in this video, but it was the one with the Pikachu with like the pink fro and also the ninja looking one. For any Pokemon fan, this store is the absolute pinnacle of stores when it comes to Pokemon merch. And because of that, I kind of took a YOLO approach and just spent and spent with no regard to however much that bill was going to end up at the end. Because I knew if I didn't do that, I would regret it as soon as I got back to the United States. And even then, there's a few items that I, looking back, wish that I would have actually gotten while I was there. But uh, oh well, that'll have to wait until the next trip to Japan, which after this first one, you bet me and my wife definitely want to go back for. Okay, gushing and gushing aside, I'll kind of take a little bit of a step back and end on this. Uh, as soon as I got to this store, I, I had a knot just in my heart. Like, I deep down, I, I truly wanted to tear up. Like, that's how much this store meant to me. There's a couple of other places that we went to that equally meant the same. But this was the first one. That's why this store is so special to me. And why I did not care how much I spent Speaking of spending though, watch this funny little clip of me leaving the Pokemon Center for context. All right, let's see. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I know. Because of those giant bags, we took a small little walk and a train ride back to our hotel, dropped them off, and then we were on to our next location. By this point, it started raining pretty heavily, uh, but being in the trains kind of diminished this a little bit. However, the rain didn't stop by the time we got to our next location, which was the Sky Tree. Because there we had an official appointment with the Kribby Cafe. For a bit of context, you have to actually make a reservation about a month in advance, and the slots go open at about 2am US time. Uh, they also fill up insanely fast, so trying to get a reservation here is insanely difficult. And you're lucky if you're actually able to get through the system. Thankfully, I was able to get through the system on the day that we really needed to actually come here. So getting to come here was just a treat in itself, and entering here made it oh so much better. You can tell by these clips that this place is absolutely decked out with the Kirby look, and that extends to the food as well. Right, we got the drinks, but first things first, let's check those coasters. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh these are all so cute. All right, then here's mine. One, two, three. Three. Oh, that one's cute too. This is the green. Which one was, which one was this green green? Uh, I think that one's called green green. Green green. That one was orange ocean? Or, I think so. Orange ocean or something like that. Look oh, at how cute. They look so good. By the way, sorry any bats for the mics. It seems to have messed up a bit. All right, Kirby Burger is here. Look at him. It's so, so cute. cute. 
Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to eat this. By the way, I forgot to record the drinks, but both of them were extremely good. This is the green green. Especially this one. Orange ocean. Oh, now let's dig into this one. Let's see. Oh, it's nice and warm. Mm. Is it good? It's a burger. Mm. It's just like a homemade burger. Oh. Mm. I'm not too sure what this is though. Cute! Mm. It's good. It's like fried potato. Mm. It wins so far. Look at how cute that's over here. It's so cute! Ready? Alright, go for it. You can try whatever you want. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh. He's fine. Go jiggly. Mm. It's like it? really light. It's like a kind of like jello and then it has like a nice like cake on the bottom. It's really good. It's really light. It kind of melts in your mouth. Mm. It's really good. I like it. What are those like ball things on the side? Mm. Oh, those are apple slices. Um, I'm it is. Mm. It's like filled with like cream inside. It's like a little puff ball, kind of a puff ball, cream oh. ball, something. But it's good. <laughs> so good. Okay, as you can tell, this table's getting a little full. But food has all been really good so far. Yes. Not disappointed at all. D delicious. Okay. Definitely recommend. So now I'm gonna shoot the pizza. I'm scared because it's like really hot. <laughs> yeah, you drop the whole thing. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe wait, wait, try wait, wait. one of the other ones. And uh, don't drop the whole thing this time. It's because it's like just out of the oven. <laughs> tear it, like tear a little piece off. One, one, one second, one second. Don't burn yourself. It's good. <laughs> I'm like, it's cheesy. She, she drew that's, all I could, that's all I could ask for. <laughs> so you recommend? Five out of five. Damn. So this is how it ended up. That was I, the aftermath. As you can tell, we cleared our plate, so that means that we actually did like it. Recommend five out of five, especially if you're a Kirby fan. Oh yeah, and the taste is pretty good too. It's worth struggling for the reservation. I worth the it, price too, honestly, because you get the atmosphere and everything. You can bring your little yeah. Kirby buddy. Well, we haven't paid yet, but I mean, we'll find out right now. But. <laughs> still worth it. I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's still worth it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember how much it was, but it was definitely worth it. After that, you get to experience this cute little Kirby shop, and there's like a little mall connected to it where you can find really cool things, like this cool mile statue that we just had to snap a picture of. But after that, we went back to the Sky Tree itself, and just look at that view. It looks absolutely gorgeous with the rainbow lights all misty. It didn't even matter that it was pouring. And uh, by the way, excuse me in advance uh, for this next part, as you will notice, the footage just turned vertical. Uh, I was extremely tired by this point, and I was dumb and decided to film everything vertical inside the sky tree, including all the skylines of Tokyo. Uh, so once again, apologize for all that, but just look at that view. It's too gorgeous not to include it in this video. Plus, I did snap a couple of other pictures that you'll see right now, and those ones are at least horizontally, all right? But, uh, oh my god, just look at that view. It would have probably looked better without all the rain, but regardless, that sky view of Tokyo really felt like we were in a big city. Aside from that, here's these little setups that they had kind of explaining how everything works at the sky tree. And they even had Doraemon have a little special appearance right at the end. By this point, I already mentioned we were absolutely dead. However, we couldn't not stop at the Ghibli store, especially with that giant cat bus right at the entrance. I wouldn't consider us obsessed with Ghibli, however, we do like the movies a lot. So stopping here just felt nice, especially to see all the merch of the movies that we had seen in the past years. And boy was that merch cute. I even got something here, but you're gonna have to wait to see that until the actual reveal when I have my giant haul. However, this does conclude today's day in Tokyo. So thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, all of that, tell me what part you like the most or what part you like the least or if you have any questions so I can go ahead and answer those in a Q&A. But thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Ash out.